Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Alan Wake 2. So what are we doing back here? The game's finished. Well, we still have two DLC episodes to play. Uh, first one's actually being Night Springs and the second one is Lake House, which is not out yet. The Night Springs episodes, uh, looks like there's three episodes in Night Springs. So we did kind of uh, very briefly start uh, one of them when we were playing the game proper. Um, and I decided to not kind of halt the progress of the game uh, with doing the DLC. I figured we'd just do it afterwards. And I'm actually kind of glad I did. It would have it would have um, really brought the pacing down of the whole gameplay. So, But uh, we're going to do it now. Um, number one fan, North Star, and Timebreaker. So these episodes are going to be a bit longer. Uh, I think I'm going to do an episode, an episode, uh, one video per episode. I'm not going to break it up. Um, I'm going to play for however long it is. If it's like two hours or something, I'm just going to make one long video for each one. Um, just kind of get them over with. You know what I mean? So let's start with number one fan. Loading the expansion is going to overwrite your progress in the existing expansion quick save slot. Sure. I got my Arizona. I'm ready to go. Hmm. Who are you? A fan. Oh, okay. The dictionary definition of the word is an enthusiast, a fervent devotee, an abbreviation of fanatic. What comes across to an outsider as a dangerous obsession or even madness is something entirely different from the point of view of the fan herself. To be a fan is a joyous existence. One filled with the happiness that stems from knowing with utter clarity the purpose of your life. But what if that purpose could be more still? If you could be lifted out of the flock as your idol's chosen one, the only one who could decipher his secret messages. <laughs> what lengths would you go to save the object of your obsession in the Night Springs? Tonight's cult classic episode, number one fan. The best pie in town at Night's Diner. Were we playing as Rose? thing you spend all your time wishing and hoping and dreaming for something and then bam destiny shows up at your door like a mailman with a package you were pretty sure got lost because you ordered it like six months ago <sighs> but <laughs> that's okay when your destiny has eyes like sunsets and a beard like mahogany colored velvet you don't really mind how it arrives My day didn't start off with all that excitement. It began like any other day did for this waitress slash protector of the town of Night Springs. As always, Night's Diner was the hottest spot in town, so there was plenty of work to do. Even as an employee, I can't go through that fucking door. All right, all right. Let's tend to the customers. Hi, everyone. Could I get another cup of that delicious special brew that only you know how to make? Mm -hmm. Of course. Who else wants to top up? Me. Right here, please. One for me, please, and thank you. 
Will do. Let me just grab a fresh pot. This is very... This is very, like, Stepford Wives, uh, Leave it to Beaver, like, that kind of wholesome family uh, type of environment. That's not a fresh pot. I love your beard, sir. That is a mighty... That is really a mighty beard. I love it. I love it. All right. Wow, you guys aren't even looking at each other. All right. Please pay at your table. Top Another up. cup. I would kill to have a passion like you do for that writer of yours. You two are destined for each other. <laughs> we sure are. No. Mm -hmm. oh, all right. Hot coffee. I heard your fan site for that writer was named best fan site in the world. That's actually quite an accomplishment. Thanks. It wasn't easy. I can imagine. Top up for you, sir. Here you go. A person of your genius and grace is wasted serving coffee to us regular Joes and Joannes. Oh, I don't mind. Here's your coffee. How do you juggle running this diner, your bird sanctuary, and that amazing fan site for the writer you love so much? I work extremely hard, but also, I'm naturally talented. <sighs> well, heck, no wonder us regular folks can't keep up. I'll never be as successful as you. Stop comparing yourself to me. Not with that attitude. You won't be with that attitude. Life's not a side order of hash browns, so don't expect someone to bring it to you. Wow. That's tough, but fair. Thank you for telling me exactly what I needed to hear. You opened no, my no, eyes. Man. Tough love is what we serve here, along with our fresh coffee. That's everyone's coffee. Better put this pot back. I loved being the very successful owner and operator of the county's most popular diner. But that was nothing compared to my grease fire of passion for the writer and his sheer literary talent and flowing hair and lips like buttery pie crust. Hi! I need to clear the empty pie plates from the tables. Shucks. I didn't know you were the owner. Pie? You don't want pie? You don't want pie. Oh, the day last night was a total here. bust. You're the expert on romance. Any advice? Uh, why? What happened? Yes. But first, tell me everything. Scooch over, sister. Short, she told me I dressed like a divorced gym teacher. But it's what's inside that matters, right? Oh god. Um You need to make an effort personalities. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty good by the way, divorce gym teacher. See here's I, I, I don't want to be harsh on the guy. I want like the tough love. But I I wanna be like you could probably change your appearance a little bit, but I, I don't want it to be like you really should fucking change, bro. Like she's right. I don't wanna be like that. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. You need to make an effort. Let Let's go with that one. You still have to put in some effort. If you don't have a jacket with elbow patches, buy one. Elbow patches. Oh, got it. Thanks a million. Okay. <laughs> don't mention it. Is Knight's Diner going to enter the statewide pie competition this year? Of course. We're going to make this our 20th win in a row. I saw in the news that you saved every single kitten from that bear attack. Amazing. Thanks. Those yoga lessons really paid off. Do, do I want to know what? I, I don't want to know what happened. 
Ryder lives just outside town in that mansion of his. Why don't you go talk to him? <laughs> oh, we have our own ways of talking. Oh, you do, do you? I better you take these plates back to the service window. You gonna order something, sir? Mm -hmm. Dispense really good advice. Excuse me, can I borrow you? I mean, I was literally just here, but sure. What can I get you? Oh, <laughs> I need a good book recommendation. If After I come all, to the right place, the town's literature buff. <gasps> oh, you have got to read the newest book in the writer's crime trilogy. <sighs> I'll grab you a coffee from the back. Okay, sir, as much as I appreciate your, your beard and, and your service here, your or your patronage, can you stop staring at me, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you. You better not crease any pages. Two can do it. Thank you so much for taking in my six macaws. I know you have your hands full with all the sick, all the other sick birds in your bird sanctuary, but if anyone can find a cure for their rare bird lupus, it's you. Yours truly, a young girl who wants to be you someday. The only thing that hurts more than love is loving again. Love Will Hurt by America's best-selling writer. Death comes for everyone. That doesn't mean it's painless. Death Will Hurt by America's best-selling writer. A man's life is ripped away. He's out to get justice, and the whole city will hurt. By America's best selling bread. It's actually really good. Bubba Swades. Beat Poetry Night at Night's Diner. Night's Diner presents the Beat Poetry Night for the literary advancement of Night Springs. Every Friday at 8 p.m. Open mic. Oh my god, is that Alan Wake? That is so funny. It's you. My muse. Employee of the Decade Award. In recognition of basically being the best at like everything. Presented to everyone's favorite waitress. I really like the fact that there's no names. It's literally just like... Um, nouns. The writer, the waitress, the patrons, the customers, or whatever. All right, where's where's the book? No time for that. I've got customers waiting. Yeah, I know, but where's the where's the book? Is it not here? Oh, it's back here. Get the novel from storage. I'm trying to. <clears throat> and I can't go in there. Oh. I was hoping to see if it was like maybe back there. What the fuck happened to your arm? Am I missing something somewhere?
Okay, seriously, am I going crazy? I literally don't know where where it is. Can I leave the diner? Seems like we're fresh out. Can I can I bring anything else? Okay then. I am so confused. Like I'm not crazy. It's it's nowhere to be seen, right? It's gonna be anywhere. It's gonna be here. It's me, your favorite writer, whose voice you would recognize in your sleep. I'm in danger. Please, my number one fan. You're the only one who can save me. Oh, oh my gosh. Don't worry, I'm on my way. My beloved writer was in terrible danger, and I had to rescue him. The stakes had never been higher. Luckily, I kept all my accessories in the diner's kitchen. So I just had to click on the book again. That's really stupid. Whatever. Okay, our first time back here. Oh my god. So this is where it leads. My accessories. Everything a girl needed to claim victory in the battle for love. My god. My action hunting rifle with a gorgeous walnut stock. Deadly. And looks good doing it. <laughs> Just like me. My trusty 12 gauge. Fully automatic. Extreme circumstances call for extreme shotguns. I was finally ready for a night out on the town. With danger. There was no time to waste. The shortcut through the boatyard was the fastest way to my rider's mansion in the woods outside town. Wait, uh, can I only get those two? But I want... I'd rather have a pistol than a rifle, although that's a lot of ammo. I'd rather take the shorty, but okay, whatever. This is so the bizarre. The boatyard is this way. You better hurry. Go through the boatyard. It's the shortest route. This was my moment. My chance to save the rider and make him realize how much he needed me. And if that's not love, I don't know what is. We're on the diner while you're gone. We'll be way worse at it. Telling we all love his books. One waitress and one rider forever. This music is something else, man. I was leaving my old life behind. Like a body left to sink in a lake so no one finds it. Nothing would get between me and my future with the writer. Mr. Scratch. I knew you'd come to his rescue. I don't have a flashlight, I just realized that. Who are you? And why do you look like a slightly less handsome version of my writer? Oh, don't you ever compare me to that worthless hack. 
Sure, I may be his wild and rebellious estranged twin brother, but we can't all be perfect. I had no idea he had a brother. To think there were two of him all this time. After today, there won't be. No more writer, no more books, no more living in his shadow. But he's your brother. But you're his brother! I'm sure you two can talk it out and realize you have so much in common, and after you change, you can move in together. And I'll come over with popcorn for movie nights! He had his chance for popcorn and movie nights, but he wanted to keep everything for himself. Too bad. You know what they say? If you can't join him, beat him. What did you do to him? I locked Mr. Fancy Pants up somewhere you'll never find him. You won't get away with this! I'll stop you! Babe, I got an army of people that hate that hack almost as much as I do. They're ready to die if it stops him from writing another crappy book. What do you got? I have a shotgun. I have a shotgun! Well, I got a... Wait, is that... That's a real shotgun? Okay, I admit, that's a... I didn't expect that. <clears throat> but it doesn't matter. You can't stop all of us. Only a monster could be blind to the poignance of my writer's book. My spinach is gone, so don't mess with me. You're all being very rude. Okay. I am terrible at this. Yeah, not my not my best. But um you know, I just realized there are these tanks everywhere. I just realized that. Really? Oh and I have some of my inventory too. My writer's jerky twin had him locked up somewhere. Like a sweet, helpless prince locked in a tower. But his fan in shining armor was on her way. Luckily, one of those haters had made a hole in the fence for me. Lucky. Oh, this is clearly the wrong way. Um, can you just make sure to give me... Oh my god, that's a lot of bullets. Or shells. I will happily take them. Is there anything down there? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Alright, let's get moving. Yeah, this auto shotgun, um, not quite what I expected, but not too bad. Because I don't think I used it <clears throat> when I picked it up as Saga. 
The twin's motorcycle had left tracks in the mud. I recognized the tread pattern immediately, thanks to my famously keen perception. The tracks would lead me right to my writer and his kidnapper. I felt like the detective from my writer's books, solving the case with my wits. All I needed now was an unlimited supply of black coffee and crippling emotional trauma caused by the untimely death of my spouse. You're not even married. Oh my god, I'm picking up even more. More haters. All being very rude. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> I've never heard of that before. What's up? this vulnerable chapter from the dramatic story of his emotionally troubled past. Oh, that man has more layers than a croissant. This writing is just amazing. Is this guy fucking riding Ghost Rider's bike or something? What's with these flame marks? Monsters continue to plague my dear writer with their negativity. I would treat them the same way I treat trolls on my fan site, but this time I was banning them from life. All the tears of all the angels in heaven were falling over the city. She wore the rain like a funeral shroud. She was in a sad state, the city of mine, but she was still mine. The filthy prison I called home. I was here for a reason. Joe Bullets Capone. He was inside drinking champagne and throwing around his dirty money while I stood in the rain smoking a soggy cigarette. But that didn't matter. The only thing that mattered was I knew Bullets had a bad night coming his way. And he had no clue. He made me wait for it though. The pack of cigarettes was long gone by the time bullets staggered out of the back door. I detached myself from the shadows, stepping right up beside that pathetic excuse for a man. Long time, Joe. Bullets looked up, his booze silk grin twisted into something less friendly. You! He reached for the pistol under his jacket, a six-shooter with slugs as big as my cigarette stubs. But I'd done my homework. He barely had the piece out of its holster before I was on him. I wrestled it out of his hands, tossed it behind a dumpster. Bullets didn't like that. Gave me one right in the gut. Wind rushed out of my lungs like a soul leaving a body. Through my wheezing, I could make out the slap of boots against water. Bullets was legging it. Had to get after him. Couldn't lose him. Not when I was so close. 
He had info I needed. The address of the last stop for this train called Revenge. So I sucked in whatever air I could and took off after him through the twisted maze of alleyways. Two rats, but only one cheese. I pulled out my revolver. I was playing for keeps. Don't make this hard, Joe. I caught up to him as he was dropping down the other side of the chain link fence. He sneered, teeth like rows of gray tombstones. <laughs> this, 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 these descriptions is just amazing. He thought he was escaping. He thought he was safe. My body slammed against the fence like a bird against the window. I clutched the thin metal, scrambled over it, jagged ends of wire ripping through the sleeves of my leather coat and biting into skin. The pain was welcome. I dropped down into the alley and ran like a panther. At every blind corner I expected a trash can lit to the face. None came. Maybe Bullens hadn't liked what he saw in my eyes when I climbed that fence. I bet he wasn't smiling now. Then I had him. A trapped rat trying and failing to wrench a locked door off its, hin in its hinges. I leveled my gun at him. You know what I want, Joe. Bullets let go to the door handle. Hands as up as they, as they go, beseeching a higher power not to cast him down. Come on, man. Ain't gonna bring your wife back. Can't hurt to try. Talk. Yeah, 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 sure thing, sure. Bullets lunge for his ankle. A crack of lightning from my hand, he was down in the gutter, cl clutching his belly. I walked over, calm as snow. I sit over him, watch his putrid blood mingle with the rivers of rainwater. You talk, I call an ambulance. His words were having a hard time getting through the pain. You're insane, man. It's insane. I raised my gun level with his eyes. Try again. Okay, okay, okay. You want the big man, yeah? I know where you can find him. Blood pounded in my ears like war drums. All the killing, the sleepless nights, the booze, the countless cigarettes I smoked while ghosts swirled around me. It was all for this drums got louder. Bullets caught his breath, straining against the pain. Then he spilled his guts. My number one fan, if I don't make it, then I just want you to know that... No, I can't say it. Curse my cripplingly sensitive artistic nature. I left the alley, told the waiter on the curb that a guy had been shot. Didn't care what he did with that information. I had what I needed. Not bad. I'd read it. The motorcycle tracks ended at a cabin. Was my rider inside? Hello? <laughs> Isn't anyone gonna rescue this poor little rider? Hello? Is anybody there? I'm just a frail rider, and I require aid. <gasps> He's inside. It's it's really funny to think of Alan this way. Can you imagine if he was like as the whole game, like when Saga's coming? Like, I'm just a poor frail rider. I don't know what to do. Alrighty. Is that the... Okay. It's the music. For a second I was like, is there a bomb ticking somewhere? But no, it's the music. Jesus Christ. You think you got enough shells there? and sit through beat poetry readings and drink $18 cocktails and have high tea with the queen. Wait a minute. My rider only drinks coffee. Two sugars, no milk. I keep all the mugs. Okay. No more tricks. I'll be waiting upstairs. It's really funny. Muscles don't cry. 
they sweat. Life is not unlike a highway. That's true. It's very true. You could also say it's not not unlike a highway. Hmm. He said he was waiting upstairs. I guess writing doesn't run in the family. Brothers, the moon can only shine when the sun is gone. The night can only come when the day is gone. Can the sea ever meet the ocean? I don't know. Sure, why not? Damn, if only I had a flashlight. Where are you? I was never upstairs. I lied when I said there were no more tricks. <laughs> You're starting to peeve me off, mister. Where is my writer? I'm just having a little fun. Oh my god. Chat down at the beach. Just out the back. First, he kidnaps my writer. Then he calls him a tea drinker. He had crossed the line. I was going to go to that beach and give this jerk the scolding of a lifetime. I love how Spam was like, I was never upstairs. I lied when I said no more tricks. <laughs> I love it. This is just amazing. This is incredible. What the fuck? Can we zoom out? Torture ideas for Hack Brother. Car battery. Solid potential. Pulling fingernails. Too easy. The bell. Where do I get a bell? Blunt spoon. Nice and simple. Cancel Christmas, too. Dismantle typewriters. A plus psychological damage. The twin said he was down at the beach. Gasoline and fire. Fire might burn my cabin down. Maybe I'm overcomplicating this. Ooh. Running with wolves seems like a dangerous hobby. Becoming the Alpha. Everything you need to know to lead your wolf pack like a true Alpha. TJ Wolf. Not this beach. This beach. Oh, okay. Well, I appreciate you telling me. No way it could be another trick. I have to get down to that beach and get my rider back. Yeah, I know. That's where we're going. 333 shots. Where are you carrying all this stuff? Oh, you got a little blood on you. Hey, me and my bike were just enjoying the view. Where is my writer? What do you even see in that crybaby? He's boring, he dresses like a nerd. Hush he's... your mouth! He is a stylish intellectual who is in touch with his feelings. You're starting to cramp my style, babe. And I'm not telling you where he is. Why are you doing this? What did he ever do to you? I, uh, already told you that? At the boatyard? I feel overshadowed. By success, like he's taking everything I can compete. Oh, right. I remember now. It's a self-confidence thing. Uh, w well, it's a bit more complicated than that. You are going to tell me where he is, or else. Or else what, babe? I, I, I fucking can't. I just... <laughs> uh, 
Oh, Jesus Christ. You asked for it. You are rude. You have no manners. Your too cool to care attitude is attractive initially, but drives people away after they realize you're emotionally incapable of letting your walls down to reveal that you are a vulnerable human being just like everybody else. You are trying way too hard with that outfit. You... No, stop. I don't like being seen. Listen, I never had your precious writer. I was just keeping you distracted while my army of haters storms this mansion. Now the love of your life is doomed. Doomed! <laughs> he tricked me, even with my famously keen perception. <laughs> Keep hearing them around me. It's a little disorienting. Oh, I didn't even see that. Are you fucking kidding me? How did that shot miss him? I guess I'm going back up. I knew you, my number one fan, would never fall victim to my twisted brother's lies. His hatred for me is as inexplicable as the sunrise. And just as fiery. But I knew your heart would never waver. You're the only one who can save me. I believe in you. Oh, it's blood's all in the ears. Ugh. My writer believed in me. We were kindred spirits. We fit together like a bicycle chain and that spiky wheel thing the chain fits into. We were connected by love and destiny. He was meant to be mine, always and forever. There was no time to lose. I was the only one who could save the writer and the very soul of literature from these evil haters. The fate of all art rested on my shoulders. The stakes had never been higher. If I have to stop you myself, I will. Unlike him, I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. Oh, jeez.
Oh, they're hearts. I just realized that. Of course it is. This is... I hate dodging those hearts. It's like I don't really know how to dodge them because you can't get out of the way in time. I'm not going to kill you. You're my darling writer's brother. You really do love him, huh? I guess I never even had a chance. I was just jealous of his talent, his money, his velvety hair, but mostly that he's got the love of somebody as amazing as you. You're worthy of love, too. Oh, you silly werewolf. You could have all those things, too. You just need to stop wanting to be him and start wanting to be you. Your words have shown me that it wasn't my brother I hated. It was myself. Oh, what have I done? Those haters will tear him apart, and it's all my fault. Please, go save him. Oh, I intend to. Alright, here we Oh, hi. Oh, jeez. I didn't even see him. Alright, let's try this again.
I can't even carry in more bullets. Yeah, there's no point. There's no point looking for stuff. Just go. Hi. Oh, how dare you. I just want to check down here is empty. Yeah. Just so I don't get ambushed. I've been waiting a lifetime to hear. I saw myself reflected in his eyes. I would always be at his side. To inspire and protect him. He needed me, now and forever. After all, I am his number one fan. That was it. Fan and the object of her joy come together against the world trying to keep them apart. A happy ending for some. But his happiness, like beauty, all in the eye of the beholder. Where is the line between fandom and fixation? One can never tell in Night Springs. Okay, interesting. All right. Um, not what I was expecting in the least. I thought it was going to be a little bit more horror themed, if that makes sense. Um, still, I actually really loved it. It was really well done, really well written, um, and went places I wasn't expecting. It's very much kind of like a the the. It's not even a Harlequin romance. It's, it's it seems like not that I've ever read the books or anything, but it seems like a Twilight fanfic. You know what I mean? Especially with like the whole werewolf thing. Yeah, it, interesting. Okay, so one down. Two more to go. Uh, I will call it for this episode. I'm just going to pick right up and just gonna keep playing the other two. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.